Very pleased to be joined by Richie Tebow, the Director of Hockey Operations for the Moncton Wildcats. We're here on day two of the 2022 QMJHL Entry Draft. And Richie, you made a splash last night, moving up eight spots to number 14 to pick Adam Forte Gendron. First of all, uh, talk about the move up to 14 and then what you like about Forte Gendron that prompted you to make it. Yeah, so, you know, when we started going through the draft and uh, we started seeing a couple of players that were still available in the middle part of the draft and, and moving into the second half of the draft, it uh, kind of got us excited because uh, those are a couple of players that we had very high on our list. So, you know, we started looking and see if we could find a partner to uh, buddy up with us to, to move up. And we were lucky to, to, to swing that deal with Schwinning at the last minute to, to be able to move up. And we're glad we didn't have to use a first round pick for next year as part of that trade. So, uh, you know, whenever you're able to move into the first round, now use a future first round, it's a, it's a good day. So this is a player that you obviously wanted. What intrigued you about Adam Forte Gendron that you felt the need to move up to get him? You know what? He's a very good defenseman. He's uh, very smart. He competes. He can skate. He can move the puck. He's really a complete defenseman for us. Uh, he's a, a player that we had very high on our list at the midterms in January, and he continued to stay high on our list all year. Um, you, you know, you build through defense and, and goaltending, and, and this is a guy that we can put in with our young group of D that, uh, you know, next four or five years he's going to be a very good player for us. He led me right in my next point. It adds to an already strong blue line that features the likes of Etienne Morin, Nathan Grenier, Francesco Iacenza, right? Exactly, you know, and he's a little different than all those guys. I think he uh, brings, you know, a combination of, of what some of those guys bring and he's really a complete defenseman. So, you know, you, you'll see right away that uh, he's a competitor and uh, he makes things happen out there. Certainly never easy to part with assets that you have. You did have to give up a second-round pick, a third-round pick, and a prospect in Ele Bayer-Jean to make the deal. A difficult move to make or, you know, still pleased overall? Yeah, it's always difficult when you, you know, Eli we drafted last year and we liked him and he had a very good year. Um, but, you know, to get something, you got to give something. And uh, that was the piece that we choose to uh, to move as part of that trade. And Shawinigan had been after us for a while about that player and, you know, we thought that this was the time to do it, to, to get a, a first-round pick and a, and a top defense. And, you know, we have some depth at forward. we got some guys coming in, and we got a little bit of a log jam there, so this maybe clears a little bit of room as well. But uh, Eli is going to be a very good player in this league for sure. Last one for you, starting off day number two. At least as we stand right now, you're at pick number 25. Uh, talk about uh, heading into day two, your thoughts. Yeah, we're very excited. You know, we've got a lot of picks today. I think uh, we'll have picks in, uh, in most of the rounds except one, maybe two today. Um, a lot of good players still left. We're very excited about uh, the next couple rounds here because we got a couple of draft picks as we speak, um, and we'll get two good players there. We're very confident. Richie Tebow, thanks for this. Thank you very much, Tim.